Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel of Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you a special bonus reading, messages from the Fool in regards to your romantic situation. For you and your person Scorpio or Cross Watcher unto Scorpio, so here we are. We're going to start off with the Fool energy. This is going to be part of the 21 day major arcana Special bonus reading, so zero all the way through the number 21. Today is Tuesday, June 30th, 2020. So the reason why I'm starting it uh, today with the Fool is because the 30th, the three and the zero, so starting off with the number zero, okay? The number zero can represent today. It's very much with the Fool energy, Carpe Diem, seize the day. That's really what the fool is all about. Very black and white. Okay. This can also be, oh, see, ding on my phone. That's confirmation. Um, the fool doesn't look back to old ways, old patterns, old cycles. Whoever's in the fool mode marches to the beat of their own drum. Some of you, Scorpios, or your person could be a dog owner. So somebody here is going to be bringing in loyalty. And the sun is going to be shining down again on this relationship or a down upon you, Scorpio, for enlightenment. So we'll see what the fool is bringing in. Of course, we work with the power of the numbers because numbers don't lie. Numbers are facts. So let's go ahead, dive into this reading. Calling upon the power of Archangel Michael and Goddess Diana to keep the energies fair and balanced throughout this reading between masculine and feminine energies to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. I'm going to go ahead, roll the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. We have the number five. Five represents a number of either great conflict or great change. Let's see what we have going on here. The number six. And the number four. So with the number five, I'm seeing the Herio font energy. Number six, lover's activity. The number four, emperor energy. With the number five, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini throughout the month of May. With the number six, you could be dealing with a Gemini or Cancerian energy throughout the month of June. With the number four, some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus throughout the month of April. And of course, the Fool is represented by the sign of Aries as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to take the number 64. I'm going to add the number 5 to that. That brings me to the number 69. And 6 and 9 is 15. Break that down, brings it down to the number six again. Okay, so with the five, six, and four, I'm seeing cups, wands, swords, and uh, coins. Okay, for the five, six, and four. So any of those could come up today. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Wow. This fool energy wants to talk. We see we were at the number 56. All these cards fell out. Okay, so we're at 56. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. 
and my number value for the fool, even though it's the number zero, I always do the power number of 11. Because 11 is a very strong, powerful number. It's part of that twin flame soulmate energy number. Okay. So we're going to shuffle one more time, but to the number 11. So we can put the first card down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Okay, let's see. Scorpio, cross watchers. Wow, Emperor Energy called it out. Through the 564. Some of you could be dealing straight up with an Aries or a Taurus. Somebody here is going to be taking a leap of faith and leveling up Scorpio or cross watcher under Scorpio. Or it could be that somebody here is getting ready to walk away from an Aries, possibly. Could be, doesn't have to be. When what I mean by that is any type of meddling energy. The fool walks away basically from quote unquote tomfoolery. <laughs> so, you know, it like I said, it could be a meddling energy that is an Aries. Some of that energy kicked in today earlier in today's uh, daily Scorpio love reading. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Somebody here is getting ready to look ahead into the horizons, and it's interesting. So somebody goes from the fool to leveling up to an emperor or empress status. So it could be male or female, doesn't matter. But somebody here, I say, is ready to give the world, again, Scorpio, to you or vice versa, you unto your person. So we'll see. We'll see what this is all about because it's like the sun is shining on the fool, and the sun is shining but yet setting on the emperor. Emperor energy can also represent somebody who is financially stable or somebody who is working in on their financial stability, um, building a financial empire. Could be an entrepreneur. Either you are Scorpio or your person is or both of you are. Okay. Um, sometimes they can work from home, that type of energy. But the emperor is somebody who is grounded. Somebody who knows what they want and, and goes after and gets it. But the way to do that is to be in this carpe diem to seize the day. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The four of pentacles. Like I said, any of the fours could come up. The four of wands, four of coins, four of cups, four of swords. We got the four of coins. I say if somebody's going to take a leap of faith and somebody here is leveling up to emperor status, then that means somebody doesn't want to hold back anymore. Maybe somebody held back for far too long and just couldn't take it anymore. Could be. We'll see what the four of pentacles is clinging or gripping onto, or it could be, Scorpio, that you cannot let go of your person or your person cannot let go of you because there's an energetic, etheric cord connection between you and your person. The ties that bind, that's what I'm hearing, the ties that bind. But we have another four here, so four and a four. Maybe we'll get another number four, 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 four. That's a very strong, powerful, angelic number. We'll see what spirit wants to bring in through the numbers here. One, two, three, four. Wow, we got the six of wands. Somebody here is getting ready to return. In this deck, it is called the Return of the Sun King. So yes, there's advancement, there's growth, there's opportunity. Somebody is returning. Somebody's getting ready to take the leap of faith. They don't want to hold back. They're going to level up. Six of Wands coming in for a return. Wow. There, there, there's earth and fire energy, and I feel air energy going on right now. Air energy, mostly, <clears throat> I'm feeling coming from the fool, but then we've got this powerhouse energy with the sign of Aries. Now, with the Six of Wands, it could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, with the Four of Pentacles. So, it could be any sign across the board, okay? 
Just keep in mind that not all messages are going to resonate for every single Scorpio or every single cross watcher onto Scorpio, but in all signs will get represented across the board, okay? Let's go ahead and dive deeper, Scorpio and cross watchers. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Let's see what's going on. Do I want to work counterclockwise or clockwise? Let's go. We're going to go clockwise. So we're going to start from the fool and, and work around. That's what I'm hearing spirit tell me to do. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Archangel Michael, what is this energy coming in off of the fool from the six of wands? From Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. What is this all about? Ah, the reason why they're returning is because wherever they're at right now, Scorpio, or if this is you in a particular kind of environment, it's been nothing but choppy waters. A, you know, an imbalance, a circus act, dealing with the lions, the tigers, and bears, and flying monkeys. It's been choppy waters back and forth, back and forth. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Yep, it's going back and forth. I mean, you get dizzy after a while, you know? Got to take Dramamine, you know? Because the environment is just all quirky and it's going back and forth. Yeah, that's the reason why somebody's going to return. They Somebody here can't take it anymore. That's what I just said off of the Four of Pentacles. You can only, you know, you can only hold on tight for so long and then the situation becomes choked. You know what I'm saying? So somebody here is going to take a leap of faith. Somebody likes white roses as well. Message from the Four of Pentacles. Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. What is somebody clinging on to or what is it that they can't let go? What is, what is the situation here? One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> some of them are still holding on to third-party situations for some of them, but they also have this vision coming in from the fool to return and celebrate, to come together. There's reconciliation here as well. And it could be when I said about things, you know, holding on too tightly to something in order for something to feel choked. Well, there could be a third party situation that's still trying to hold on to your person, Scorpio, and trying to choke the living crap out of them, basically. And that's the reason why the waters have been choppy. Message from the Emperor. One, two, three, four. Somebody here is going to have the perseverance and determination to go the distance. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy kicking in. We have Now we have all signs across the board here. Just about. No, wait. I need my air. I need my air signs. Getting a little bit of air energy from the fool, like I said. But the Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Somebody's not going to back down in order to get what it is that they want. And that is the right kind of emperor attitude. Not going to let allow anything to stand in somebody's way here. This is, you know, the fool is about freedom, being able to breathe, being able to not feel claustrophobic or, you know, feeling chained or tied or binded down to a situation or meddling energy or the environment that somebody's in. I'm also hearing, too, the word spotlight. Somebody here is ready to be in the spotlight. Or somebody's going to be giving this recognition either to you, Scorpio, or you unto your person. Somebody's going to give somebody here recognition, quote-unquote, being in the spotlight with this Six of Wands. The Six of Wands energy can also bring in marriage proposals. What is the message from the Fool? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Whoever's in the full mode is going to learn how to swing that lightsaber and get rid of this meddling energy that's at the bottom base here. Look at all those wands. See, somebody, somebody is feeling, I say, claustrophobic in their environment. And they want to return big time.
feeling the pull to get the kipper deck here. Hang on one second. Archangel Michael, what is this energy going on between the Emperor and the Nine of Wands? Four and nine is 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. What is this? Yeah, high honor. Somebody wants to recognize you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Somebody holds somebody here in high regard. Number 25. Somebody's leveling up to high honor status within this relationship dynamic. But they got to ward off. We got to figure out how the hell are they going to ward off? How, are, how is somebody going to ward off using and working that lightsaber, we'll say, in order to now be the fool and now be able to not feel constricted, to feel tied down to third-party situations or feel like somebody is smothering them. I mean, it could be a mother figure smothering their son or their daughter or father figure smothering their daughter, their son or their daughter, etc. It could be family members. It could be the karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend, the ex-wife, ex-husband, bromances, excessive girlfriends, whatever the case may be. What is this energy between the Four of Pentacles, Archangel Michael, and the Three of Cups from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? Let's see. Four and three is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is this? <clears throat> yeah. See? Somebody wants to leave. Somebody wants to leave their situation. We have the journey card here. Number 10. 10 is about an end of a cycle, you guys. So whatever the meddling energy is that's holding on, gripping on tightly to somebody right now or to your person, Scorpio, or griply tightening on to you, somebody is here to leave. I mean, there's somebody's, it's like midnight train to Georgia, okay? I mean, <laughs> somebody here could be, you know, Thinking about traveling on a plane or, you know, if it's by bus, if it, they're getting in their car, they're packing up a U-Haul, whatever the case may be. Somebody's on the verge of a major breakthrough and also moving here to get out of their uh, situation. Bottom of the deck, the main male, main person. What is this energy between the Six of Wands and this Two of Pentacles, Archangel Michael, from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. Six and two is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What is this? Mm -hmm. Judication. Okay, for some of you, you may have soon-to-be exes or soon-to-be ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-husband that could end up returning <clears throat> or... Um, Maybe wanting to call off if there's a divorce or somebody's thinking about being on the verge of divorce or signing divorce papers. I think somebody here is going to, mm, we'll say, eat their words a bit. However, I did say about marriage proposals. Some of you guys could end up getting married at the justice of the peace. For some of you, you might be kind of content with that. Maybe just do you and your person and the judge and that is it. For some of you. We'll see what this choppy waters is all about in just a moment. It could be. I am definitely strongly picking up though for some of you guys that are married or in separation. Like somebody here I say is reevaluating the marriage. I don't think... There could be, you know, possibly somebody here that, you know, doesn't want to have choppy waters anymore, but somebody here wants to give somebody recognition, but it's, you know, it's been a, it's been a battle for those of you that have been in that situation. It's been a battle. It's been, it's been up. It's been down. It's like a freaking roller coaster ride for some of you, but again, marriage proposals that could come in through adjudication. However, truth I'm also picking up the Ace of Swords and the Justice card. 
So truth that is trying to get revealed. We are in a waxing moon right now, so there could be some more truths going to be ready to kick in, Scorpio, about your person or vice versa. There probably might say, you know, let's, you know, let's have a new beginning because the fool is all about a new beginning. Somebody here is a fool in love. And I say that somebody here is not going to back down. They're going to fight for what it is that they want. They're going to level up the way that they should have in the past. What is this energy, Archangel Michael, between the Fool and the Seven of Wands, please? Let's see, 11 value and 7, that's 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Boom! What did I say? Somebody is a freaking fool in love. Lovers! Did I stutter? Uh-uh. No, I didn't. Somebody is going to fight for this relationship, you guys. That's beautiful energy right there. Power of the numbers, you guys. Yes, we claim that. Mm-hmm. Somebody's a fool in love. They're going to learn how to work that lightsaber. They're going to fight off freaking Darth Vader. Meddling energies. Just meditating here. Archangel Michael, how is this person <clears throat> going to get the perseverance and determination to go the distance and level up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. What is this all about? Yeah, reconciliation, you guys. Blast from the past energy. Somebody that you could have known from grade school, high school, sweethearts, middle school, sweethearts. You could have gone to school with this person or knew this person from your childhood or possibly um, long-term business associations or you might have met through you know, friends or, you know, well-trusted friends, well-trusted family members. Somebody holds somebody here in high regard, high honor. They're reminiscing. Somebody's reminiscing about the past. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is about a major offer, major commitment. Clarify the energy of this Three of Cups, Archangel Michael. One, two, three. Six of Pentacles. At one time, Scorpio, you could have felt like your person was breadcrumbing you, that it wasn't equal give and take, that it wasn't equal reciprocity. But see, somebody doesn't want to hold back anymore because somebody here wants to travel in order to be with true love, get to this celebration, and also to bring in equal give and take, equal reciprocity. And not give to numerous different people or situations because somebody's feeling freaking smothered. Message from the Two of Pentacles. One, two. What is this? Choppy waters. King of Pentacles energy. Again, it could be a parental figure or an ex, ex-wife, ex-husband. Soon to be ex-wife, soon to be ex-husband. Mother figure, father figure, whatever. Or somebody who is married or wants to be married. See, the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles believes in the institute of marriage. And here we have the judication card. Okay? And this Six of Wands, I feel like I need to put an energy. There's an energy going on between judication and the Six of Wands. There's a little bit more. There's something more in depth over here. But... The King of Pentacles is one level down from the Emperor. So you go from somebody here being this fool or Carpe Diem sees the day, but there is a little bit of sense of immaturity too. Some of your partners were very immature about their decision-making process to listen to meddling energies and to believe the meddling energies. You know, they, that, see, ding on my phone, that's confirmation. So they were immature at one time about their decisions when they just were like a fool, but basically the fool in reverse 
made poor choices, poor decisions. And didn't face responsibilities or didn't follow through with the promises that were made about long-term commitment. See, now somebody's trying to backtrack and travel and get to this, this journey to come together. Lovers. Message from the High Honor card, Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. They're trying to find the courage and the strength, sign of Leo. To infinity and beyond with that number eight. Eight is a very strong number. Some of your partners could have a life path number of eight or you have a life path number of eight, Scorpio. Somebody's trying to find the courage and the strength to have reconciliation and to acknowledge somebody's intuition. That's what I'm also picking up. Message from the Journey card, Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this ship is about ready to sail. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody is going to be getting the hell out of Dodge, getting out of their environment, and coming back home. They're already planning, you guys. It's already in the works. Love it when the Three of Wands kicks in. So this is an indication of travel. They're making arrangements. Yeah, because on the bottom of the deck, Five of Wands, dirty bird activity, conflict. Yeah, exactly. They don't want to be around that bull crap anymore. Message from adjudication, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. <laughs> yeah, somebody's confused. They were confused in their decision-making process. That's the reason why that Two of Pentacles is there, too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Somebody's been smoking far too much marijuana. Too much. It's masking over their seven chakras. Number seven. Can't exactly swing that lightsaber when somebody's masked over by a lot of marijuana for some of them. Not all of them. Not all of your partners smoke marijuana. I'm not anti-marijuana. I'm just anti-excess. But see, they were confused. The meddling energies were confusing the hell out of your person, Scorpio, or vice versa. You were being confused by mother figures, father figures, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, whatever. Take the roles how they resonate. It could be that there could be a soon-to-be ex-wife or soon-to-be ex-husband that is confused right now about whether or not they want to go through divorce proceedings here for some of you. And it could be, too, that some of you guys will go through the divorce process, and in some regard, it may end up being a blessing for some of you in order to be you know, in the full mode and maybe go to somebody else that you consider your true love, maybe for some of you, okay? A lot of variable messages here. Message from the lovers, please. Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is about long-term standing offer. That should have happened a long time ago, but, you know, I guess better late than never. Princess of Pentacles. They're going to fight to get this relationship back. Message from Strength. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
What did I say? Ace of Swords. When I said Judication, said either Ace of Swords or the Justice card. Archangel Michael, Sword of Truth. See, somebody knows that they need to come forward, level up to Emperor or Empress status. To If they're going to have a reconciliation with you, Scorpio, or vice versa, they know they have to come clean with the truth. As to why they did what they did. Why did they make promises in the past that they couldn't keep? I'm smelling a judgment call, you guys. Smelling a judgment call. With a capital J. Mm-hmm. Message from the Three of Wands, please. How are they going to do this, Archangel Michael? One, two, three. How are they planning? What are they doing? Sign of Scorpio. Change and transformation. They're going to be like that little kid caterpillar inside of a cocoon. They're going to get ready to emerge. Somebody need, knows that they need a new environment. They need to be back under the same roof. I'm seeing like the Ten of Pentacles coming up into my mind's eye. Message from the Death card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Yeah, see, they want to bring in a romantic offer, a token, a gift, a gesture. Princess of Cups, just like the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to come back in and sweep you back off your feet again, Scorpio, or vice versa. You want to sweep your former partner back up off of their feet. Message from the King of Pentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They want to bring in the sun, sign of Leo. This is totally reconciliation, you guys. This is marriage. This is getting pregnant. This is about pregnancy, birth of uh, new projects, new ideas, summertime process, strength, honor, victory, marriage proposals. Message from the Princess of Pentacles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's the Empress. Somebody's going to have to fight off a mother figure and put that mother figure in her place. And for others, this is a passionate new beginning. This can bring in pregnancy, true love, nurturing. They want to return back to their Empress because why? I've got the Emperor here. There's power couple. Power couple energy circulating here. Somebody's going to fight back for the throne. And somebody knows that they deserve to see a ring on it. Your person knows that you deserve to see a ring on it, Scorpio, or vice versa. You unto your person. Take the roles how they resonate. Message from the Ace of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my freaking God. Ace of Cups, you guys. Beautiful. Boom. They're leveling up. They want this relationship. They want this connection back. Big time. They have to go to the past in order to come to the future. Back to the future. Yes. Message from the Princess of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Boom! Two of Cups. Reconciliation, you guys. I've got reconciliation all across this, all across the board here. They want to embrace you again. They cannot let you go, Scorpio, or vice versa. Somebody, at, who or what caused this Four of Pentacles energy, Archangel Michael? One, two, three, four. What is this? The world card. So when I think of the world card, social media, meaning people. People. 
It could also be, too, that some of your partners, Scorpio or vice versa, Scorpio and a cross watcher, that you guys have been checking out their social media platforms, seeing what everybody's doing, spying in. I don't need to see, I don't need to see the Prince of Swords to know that there's spying going on. Somebody's keeping tabs. This is the World Wide Web. Somebody's keeping tabs. So it could be about a group of people, social media, community, family members. Because the world card can represent family lineage. Message from the sun, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. The moon. Truths are going to get revealed. Manifestation. You could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Pisces. Message from the Empress. One, two, three. Yeah, devil activity, sign of Capricorn. Well. Empress energy is taking a new twist and turn. I'm going to tell some of you guys right now that your partner, Scorpio, or vice versa, somebody better wake up tonight or tomorrow or whatever, or the next time they look at their mother, they better recognize that there is something seriously wrong here. Those that had meddling mother figures that came in between your relationship Take a real good hard look. This is not a very good combination. The only thing I could say that could be positive off of this, because remind you, seven of wands, seven of wands next to the fool card, we have lovers, long-term commitment is that your person, Scorpio, or vice versa, is very much sexually thinking about you. And some of them want to get you knocked up, Scorpio. For you female Scorpios out there, some of them want to get you knocked up. So if that's not what you want, then take precautionary measures. But somebody's mother is keeping them <clears throat> chained and bound to their environment. Know this all too well. Somebody better wake up and do the right thing. Because emperor status, we'll see what the devil wants to bring in here. Somebody here holds somebody in high regard. I've got love all across the board here. Remind you, this is coming in from the fool. Carpe diem, seize the day. Mm-hmm. Not digging it right now. But this empress is clarified by the devil. The devil could be a woman. <laughs> Maybe it's not even a man. It could be a woman. Mm -hmm. Cards are the cards, you guys. <clears throat> I know that not all of you are dealing with meddling family members. Some of you have. Some of you guys have been in spiritual warfare with your partner's mother figure or father figure, the sister, the sister-in-law, the brother, the brother-in-law, the cousins, the aunts, the uncles, the grandparents, whatever. Second cousin. <laughs> I heard that. Mm -hmm. Message from the Ace of Cups, Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's 
going to be an apology about the meddling energy, the backstabbing and betrayal, because if somebody's coming forward with the truth, they want to reconcile. They're trying to have the strength, high honor, perseverance, and determination. Well, why? Why would all this goodness? It's because they know that they backstabbed and betrayed you, Scorpio, or vice versa. You betrayed your person. Either way, take the rules how they resonate. This is like right here, a whole healing process to overcome these swords that have stabbed somebody here in the back. Who or what caused the Ten of Swords? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I saw it! I'm not stupid. Never try to outsmart a tarot reader. Don't even try. Don't ever try. Mm-mm. Queen of Wands, meddling energy, mother figure, father figure, aunt, brother, sister, cousin, the whole nine yards, you guys. Never try to outsmart a damn good tarot reader. Especially ones that work with numbers. <laughs> well, that was intense right there for two seconds. Yeah. Saw it. I freaking saw it. I knew it. It's there. Look at how disgruntled. This meddling energy did not give a S-H-I-T who they walked all over. These mother figures did not care who they walked over. They're liars. Deceitful mothers, fathers, Cousins, aunts, bromances, excessive girlfriends, karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend. Huh. <laughs> the whole nine yards, you guys. Never try to outdo or outsmart a tarot reader. Mm-mm. Because the spirits are very strong and very powerful, especially mine. Message from the moon, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Well, looks like Scorpio, you're going to get the sun and the moon and the stars. Literally, it's all in alignment there. The sun and the moon and the stars. Somebody is holding back that they want to have this healing process with you, Scorpio, or that they're holding back that you are their superstar, you're sh you are the shining star in their life, Scorpio, or vice versa. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, Prince of Cups. An apology. A rightfully owed apology. Mm hmm. Message from the Devil, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This devil activity blindsided your person, Scorpio, or vice versa, blindsided you, or the both of you, really. Preventing somebody here from making a proper decision. Message from the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I had said, who or what 
is the Four of Pentacles, the World Card, family lineage, social media platforms, people spying, uh, groups of people, people that know about your relationship. Okay, freaking circus act. The lies, betrayals, deceit, you guys. But see, somebody here is trying to get away from the lies, betrayals, deceit in order to return to get to the Two of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Cups, Archangel Michael. One, two. Somebody wants this reconciliation, but this meddling energy is making it GD impossible for somebody here in the present moment to return. It's going to happen, you guys. I've got more positive energy here. You've got two major winning aces. Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords. That's a powerhouse combination. They want this reconciliation really bad, Scorpio, or vice versa. Or the both of you. Message from the star. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. High priestess energy. Somebody's going to have to use their intuition. Use all of their inner wisdom, their knowledge, their guidance. To shoot for the star and land on the moon, basically. A lot of celestial... A lot of celestial help and support right here. Intuition. Message from the Queen of Wands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Archangel Michael, how the hell is this Queen of Wands going to go down? Hmm. Somebody is going to refuse to listen, I say, to this Queen of Wands. I say somebody here is going to recognize that this meddling energy, basically, <sighs> how do I want to say this, is going to recognize the real truth. Because the Ace of Swords is here, you guys. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. It could be that the meddling energy will finally confess that they were behind it all along. Guilt can only pile up for so long until somebody busts. And if they don't, if the meddling energy doesn't confess the truth that they destroyed this relationship on purpose, they've got another thing coming. And I'm going to get even twice the amount of popcorn, a lot of extra butter, and a little touch of salt, and I'm going to sit back and watch it all come crumbling down, and so will you, Scorpio. That's what I will be doing. Because these meddling energies... It's time for all that energy to get kicked to the curb, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's just from the High Priestess. One, two. The Heartbreak. Third-party situations. Torn emotions. Well, that was all due to this, to this, to this, and to this. No kidding. And part of this, Seven of Swords. Mm-hmm. Somebody better leave their environment tonight and go back to true love because that's, that's what needs to happen here, right? Mm-hmm.
Ja. Because, you know, we only have so much control. You know what I'm saying? We only have so much control because we have to, you know, we have to allow the divine to work its magic, we'll say, to have that wheel of fortune that what goes around comes around. It will happen, you guys. I've seen it happen before. I've seen it happen before in, in a couple different situations. So, it is real. I've seen tower moments happen. It is real. Judgment. It is very real. Mm-hmm. Yep. That heartbreak... Whatever situation you find yourself in, Scorpio, with your person or vice versa. Is due to a meddling energy. Bottom line, that's it. Black and white. It's always, it's always been that way. There is a culprit. And I say that somebody's not going to listen to this meddling energy anymore. Far too many cards, like I said, far too many energies to outweigh, outdo this Queen of Wands, period. So, yeah, see, by making poor choices, here's that Eight of Swords, that Harry Houdini self-imposed prison, that your person put themselves into Scorpio or you did in your situation. So there was self-sabotage here. Take the roles how they resonate. Self-sabotage. I mean, seriously, who, I mean, unless if you're really Harry Houdini, and I know that there's only been one in this lifetime, Does anybody really have time to be chained and bound to the devil? I mean, seriously. I've seen in my dreams, you guys, the karmics, karmic mother figures, karmic whatever, reveal their true self. I haven't had any dream time spiritual attacks in a long time. But your dreams will reveal truths. And I've seen the meddling energy take off a false mask. Very evil. Very, very evil. I don't use that term very often. But they are evil and deceptive. This meddling energy, the mother figures, the father figures, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, the gab, the gossipers. I mean, it's malicious. It's malicious. But all because of the fool. The fool is trying to seize the day. So whether that's you, Scorpio, or your person unto you, is wanting to take a leap of faith here. Because... All of this bullcrap energy. There's more love here than bullcrap energy. Reconciliation is all here. But somebody's been putting a stop and a blockage, okay? But see, if somebody doesn't make a sound decision, by the time September 29th comes around, Planet Saturn ain't going to be messing around. Somebody better, somebody better be uh, scared 
right now. And, and meaning, when I say that, the consequences. If they don't do the right thing. Because everything in the world is going to come freaking crumbling down to the ground. If that is what has to happen, then that is in God's plan. To teach your person, Scorpio, or vice versa, a lesson. So in the meantime, you march to the beat of your own drum. You show loyalty to yourself first. You take charge of what your day is going to be like. The fool doesn't have time to be masked over by confusion, delusional energy, because this is suffocating. This is anxiety. This is stress. Freedom. Flexibility. Having the sun shine again. Partnership is here, you guys. Lovers is here. Long-term commitment. Power couple energy. <clears throat> Give me one more message from the fool, Archangel Michael. Is What does the fool want Scorpio or vice versa, the cross watcher, to know the most right now? What is the most important message from the fool in regards to this romantic dynamic? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What's the most important piece of advice right now? That justice and truth will be served, and that balance will be restored again within this relationship. And to call upon and become close, if you believe in angels, build up that partnership with Archangel Michael. He's a protector and the defender of relationships, to clear and cut out meddling energies, to dominate over devil activity. This is why Archangel Michael crushes the head of the meddling energies, the devil activity. Archangel Michael, he who is like God. You can call on whatever deity you want. Some people find it easier to relate with angels. So the fool is saying, don't you worry. Spiritual Justice League has got this. They've got the energy, you guys. They got your back. Message from Justice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The Prince of Swords. Observation. Observe your energy. Observe your thoughts. Are you thinking negatively or are you thinking positively about your situation? The fool doesn't have time to overthink. The fool is just going to do. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Message from the Prince of Swords. What is this? Travel. Your person's getting ready to come and see you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Rapid fire communication. What is this about? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. For the magician, and it's so funny because tomorrow we'll be working on the magician's energy. A new beginning. The number one. Manifestation. Law of attraction. Watching your thoughts. Manifesting for new beginnings to manifest what it is that you want from this partnership. And pushing energy towards this new beginning. But this is your emotional cushion right now. 